My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today I'm going to get comfortable. Um, <laughs> so, I uh, someone sent me this video, right? And in this video, this guy, uh, what's the name of his channel? Let's just make sure we get our details right. So this guy's called Sam Vincent, and I hate to kick people in the dick, uh, especially when they're starting out. You know, he's got 223 subscribers. And uh, he says, after getting an advisory on my uh, Yamaha MT-07 uh, MOT, he got a notchy steering head bearing, so he decided to challenge myself to replace them. And I was sent this video, and I was watching this video, and the guy who sent me this video said to me, uh, you'll recognise, basically, uh, the moves in this video. So this guy's taking apart his head steering bearings, and he does this. Now some people have a different type of bearing which is a lot easier to get this off. So essentially what I'm going to do here, because I've got nothing really to prise this off with, get a screwdriver, now this is just an old screwdriver, you don't want anything half decent, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit it down here and then it's essentially going to go between the bearing race and the yoke. And I'm going to go down there and what's that, what that's going to do is just drive a gap between here and the race. And then what I'm going to do after I've done that, and I've got that to a point, is you can either get your screwdriver between that, obviously it's going to be further out, and then hit it out, or you get a thicker screwdriver, work that in, and then you get a chisel and do the same thing with that. So this is going to be a little bit painful for you, to, you guys to listen to, but hopefully it'll, show the, hopefully it'll show what I mean. The other thing you have to remember when you do this is you want to work it out, because it's on this tube, you want to work it off either side. You don't want to work it off one side because then it will turn the race and then you won't be able to get it off. It's going to be really difficult. So you need to work it off this side, then this side, then this side, then back and forth and if top and bottom if that's possible as well. Now the other thing you need to do, and the reason I say do it sideways, because if you do it here, when this finally gives, when this finally moves out of the way, you're going to end up dinging your tube, the actual tube itself, and you don't want to do that. So some of you've been watching this channel for a while will remember this. Leaf there, lift that over the top and pull that off out of the way. Put that back on in a minute. And now what you're left with is just the inner race or the inner bearing cap on the bottom of there. Now there's a, there's a ledge here that that bottoms against, and then the whole thing. Obviously that then reduces in thickness here. So we just need to get that off of there. Now you can do it fancy if you wish. You can use a puller or any of that stuff if you've got fancy tools. But I'm trying to show you this as simple as I can without fancy tools. Because you don't need them really. Right, once you get a little gap to it, I'll just go for, where are we? That's the big red one. It's, it's a bit thicker. Get that down the side. And you're putting a wedge, really. You're just driving the screwdriver in as a wedge. You're driving that bearing off. You right, Pen, can you see it? No. Sorry. Right. So once that's got a little bit of a gap, come down with a wider chisel, being careful of the steel inside. Gonna lean against this lock stop, give it a wedge, and then aim down past this, not in towards it. So you're just kind of driving into the gap. Like that. You see it? Mm-hmm. You see it? Do you want to come around this side? Mm -hmm. Just driving the wedge down. Until the whole thing just drops off its mouth. So we can see where this little gem has come from. And we all laughed and took the piss and so on. Now, uh, just to... Uh, I was going to do this video saying, you know... What one knobhead does, other people will follow, and this is a prime example. Even down to using a file 
um, to, you know, tart up the bits that he's messed up on this steering yoke. Here it is. Now, taking off this, this little inner cup isn't always a very nice experience. It's always a bit hammer, chisel, bang, crunch, as you saw, chiseling it off there. And you get little marks on this and that. Unless you get yourself a puller, and I want to try and show you how to do this job without specialist tools, you can beat it off. It just taps off, and so you've got to drive a wedge in there and drive one screwdriver, thicker one, thicker one, eventually get a chisel in, drive it down, and drive that off. How you do that, how that works, and how that goes for you is all down to your sort of um, your deftness with tools, if you like. If you're pretty handy with the tools, you'll get that. Get the right angle and pop it in. Once it's done, obviously then you have to realise you've made just a little bit of a mess here at the bottom of the alloy yoke. So round the bottom, just clean up any burrs that you've made on this before you put it back on, before you put the new one on. Now, because I have dinged this a little bit in here, you'll be able to see it's, there's, it's not amazing. I'm just going to use a file just to take any burrs off. There's a little one there as well. Again, try not to touch the surface of this. Try not to ding up my uh, bottom yoke too much. But I'm just going to get those edges off. And I was about to do this video having a laugh. And just to be thorough, I try to you know look for other sources. And uh, so... I went to a 2014 MT07 manual, um, and lo and behold, <laughs> I'll show you. You can see this picture. So what it says is remove the bearing races from the steering head pipe one with a long rod two and hammer. So we've all seen that one before. And then it says remove the bearing race three from the lower bracket with a floor chisel four and hammer. Well. <laughs> uh, what are Yamaha playing at? Now, I know I usually say, you know, do what the, the manuals say and stuff, but this is a bit of a weird one because what the fuck? Driving a wedge, a metal wedge, a steel metal wedge between hardened steel and aluminium, which is what the yoke is made out of, we know what's going to happen. Right, the aluminium is going to take a kick in the dick. So why they are suggesting this, and I tried to look to see if a floor chisel was anything specific, um, like Yamaha had a specific chisel as a flat bottom and a ramp top. Even that would dig in because, like this bloke says in this video, these things are pressed on. It's a very good interference fit. Uh, he uses a blowtorch, which he doesn't say to use. But what the fuck, like? You know, a lot of guys have been doing this the proper way. And, you know, we had a good laugh at Dell. Now, before people get on the high horse about Dell, I also checked the Ninja um, ZX7R service manual for Dell's bike. And it says, uh, remove the lower stem bearing with its grease seal, which is pressed onto the steering stem with a suitable, a suitable, suitable, suitable commercially commercially available bearing puller so you know obviously kawasaki still have some sense what i want to do is i want to check a old yamaha manual prior to 2014 and see what they say there they've done studies you know that doesn't make sense so i had a quick scan on the old internet just took me a couple of minutes to get a 2000 uh yzf r1 manual and it says the same thing Remove the bearing race three from the lower bracket with a floor chisel four and hammer. Install a new seal, a new bearing race. Wow. Uh, yes, yeah, so like I said, before everyone jumps on the bandwagon, um, no, they, uh, I'm, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because usually I say, do what the manual says. But doing what the manual says in this case, I don't know if some interns come out with this idea or what. They just seem to have stuck with it all this time. But this is going to damage your bottom yoke every single time. That is mental. So I was going to say to this Sam guy, you know, doing it wrong. There's other things he does in the video that are clearly, you know, 
in the Dell fashion. You can tell he's been watching the old Dell bollocks because it's nearly some of it's nearly you know verbatim. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, wow. Um, I don't, I really don't know what to say. It's from an engineering point of view, that's dumb. Like literally dumb. Maybe Yamaha just hate hate everybody. That is really, in other words, I can't see you doing that. And actually, the Sam guy did a good, he did a clever thing. He ground a groove into the bearings and give him a quick tap. So I'll give him, you know, five points for that. Cutting a small groove in each part of the bearing, again, the other side. And that's given me enough leverage just to be able to tap it off. Now you can see it's actually coming up quite easily now. So now is the point where I can get, I can go from a very thin screwdriver up to a slightly thick one, which allows me just to make my way. I'm, <laughs> I'm lost for words. I'm literally lost for words. This is this is the first time. It's dumb. Yamaha's been dumb. Proper dumb. That is a dumb thing to say. Fuck me. That's not gonna make any sense. I'll see you in a bit.